Hi everyone. So I'm really sorry for this delayed video. I've just been really busy with school and upkeeping my other channel, Sparkle Like the Stars. But um, I'm making a video now, so that's good. But the thing is, I didn't really know what to make for the first video for this channel. I had ideas, but I didn't know what would be good for the first video. So um, I decided that I would tell you guys my story with Crohn's disease, just so you know where I'm coming from. And I'm hoping that you guys will comment below and tell me your story, or even make a video response, because that would be really awesome. I'll watch them all, and I'll comment and all that. So, yeah. But, um, I'm going to tell you my story, so keep watching. Okay, so when I was in second grade, I started getting stomach aches and just generally not feeling well when I ate. So we went to the doctor, and the doctor basically told me to drink more milk which I'm not really sure how that would help, but, um, and it didn't, but that's what he told us. So then, fast forward into sixth grade. The beginning of sixth grade, I had lost a lot of weight, and I looked like a skeleton, like legit skeleton. So, um, I went to a GI doctor, and I had the colonoscopy that everyone has, and then the endoscopy, and they saw that I had ulcers and all this bleh in my intestines, so they decided that I had Crohn's disease. So they put me on the medicines and all the steroids, and I got the moon face and all that, and I felt a lot better. Then um, fast forward again until ninth grade, the fall of ninth grade. Well, um, I started getting like these horrible pains in my stomach to the point where I couldn't like walk and I just felt really sick to my stomach. I thought I was going to throw up, like when I tried to take a pill, a single pill, I felt like I was going to throw up. So um, my dad took me to the emergency room and they found out that I was obstructed, like almost completely obstructed, and that's when none of your food can go through your intestines, because there's like a thin, narrow spot. So they fixed that with like a procedure, it wasn't a surgery because it wasn't invasive. Um, so everything was good until this fall when I had stomach aches and I had like lost probably five pounds, but I didn't really think anything of it until my doctor said, hey, you know, your blood work looks a little funny, let's get some tests done. So I had, what's it called, I had an upper GI, and that's when you drink the barium stuff and they can see it flow through. Well, it took six hours for the barium stuff to go through my small intestine, so they knew I had a really narrow spot in there, so they decided they were going to take it out during surgery, and then I had a barium enema, which, um, if you know what an enema is, yeah, so they did that, and they found out I also had a narrow spot in my colon, so they were going to take out the two pieces. They did that, and... It was like, I was going good for a week, you know, I started eating again after the surgery, but then I started feeling like horrible burning in my stomach, and I found out that the places where they sewed my intestines back together fell apart, and everything that I ate was going into my abdominal cavity. So I went into emergency surgery, and they decided to give me an ileostomy. And if you don't know what an ileostomy is, it's basically where you have your normal, like, mouth, esophagus, small intestine, but your small intestine actually comes out the side of your stomach. So I can see my small intestine right now if I look down. Um, and then they attach a bag, like, every three days I change a bag on my side just to, um, you know, keep it clean and all that. And then my colon, I actually still have, it's just sitting. It's like chilling at the bottom. So so that's where I am today. And um, I've had the ostomy for about see, November, December, January, February, and March. About five months now, and I've been doing good with it. And um, I actually want to make videos on it too for you guys. So that's basically my story, and that's where I am now. And I'm hoping to get reconnected soon when I get to 105 pounds. And right now I'm at 94, which is really good. Um, but yeah, that's my story. So if you guys want to tell me your story, comment below or video response it, because I'll watch it and comment and, I don't know, tell you what I think. So um, hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!